there, this is Wendy Means from Smiles and Swirls, and today I'm going to show you how to do tissue paper art. It's super easy and so much fun to do. So first, um, I have tissue paper that I got from uh, Dick Blick, and it's actually called Bleeding um, Tissue Paper. So, but you can also try, you know, tissue paper from... Uh, the dollar store or anything like that but I find this one that's like specifically designed for this works the best so first I'm going to use a spray bottle and I'm just gonna spray my paper with water there we go and I'm using a uh, watercolor paper so it's a little thicker than regular paper you need a paper that can kind of hold up to um, to the water and I'm going to start with colors. So if I show you my color wheel, I'm gonna start with colors that are sort of, that mix well together. I call them analogous colors. So they're um, beside on the color wheel. So blue, uh, blue and red make purple. So I'm doing those range of colors. So I'm just gonna vary the colors and I'm just gonna lift the tissue paper. Super fun. It's better when you don't have a hard edge, isn't it? It blends better. So I'm just gonna rip, 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 and put it down on my paper. So I'm gonna get a few of that nice color. This is like a dark blue. So uh, the pack I got from Dick Blick has all kinds of colors arranged together. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of that color. And then I'm gonna do a lighter blue. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that uh, I like to use a range of sort of darks and lights for interest. You can see it's already starting to bleed a little bit on the paper. And this is so fun to do. I've done this with every age from probably four up to adults. <laughs> The adults love doing this too in my, in my um, wine and paint nights that I run, but I also have done this with kids. Now, the only thing with these ones, with this kind of project, is it is the dye is quite um, strong that comes off of these, so it's quite, um, yeah, it's messy on the fingers. And you can overlap the papers. See how I overlapped them? And I try to cover the whole thing. We're just getting some beautiful bleeding already. You can see it's a dark purple. But it will be really pretty once it starts going. Now you don't have to cover the entire thing, but it does work out quite well. Just overlapping a little bit. And let's do a few more. I'm just having so much fun ripping paper. <laughs> it's quite uh, therapeutic if you want to try it. There we go. So see I have nice overlaps everywhere. And my paper is starting to dry, but that's okay. We're going to add more water to it. Okay, and now I'm just going to spray, spray, spray so it's all wet. And it's good to have some paper towel around. And definitely you want to do this in an area where you don't mind. The, um, and then I'm just going to dab a little bit, not too much, just to flatten it. Dabbing those areas I didn't cover. That is all. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it dry now. So you could either use a blow dryer or just let it dry naturally. And then you pull off all the tissue paper when you're done and you, and you have a beautiful artwork underneath. So I will let that dry and I'll show you the finished product. Back again, I'm gonna show you uh, with different colors. So this time I'm gonna use some um, red and yellow mix to make orange. So I'm gonna use a range of those colors. So again, I'm gonna wet my paper really well. 
I'm using watercolor paper. And I'm just gonna go for it with the add some rip rip. Add it to the paper. Overlap it. This is such a beautiful way to get kids into just like enjoying the creative process and not caring what it looks like and adults as well. Because <laughs> it makes such the results are just so stunning. Love it so much. <laughs> there we go, rip rip. This is like therapeutic for me. <laughs> Get some yellow in there. You could also do just reds um, and yellow, and then you know let them bleed into making orange together. That's quite pretty as well. My daughter's done this color combination with pink, which also looks really pretty. So you want to make sure that you overlap. Try to color over the whole sheet. Just going to add a little bit more red on top. Let those bleed a little bit into each other. Okay, I'm going to spray, spray, spray. You can also do this outside if <laughs> you're worried about the mess. Okay, I love putting a huge drop sheet down outside and just letting the kids go for it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to pull the tissue paper off and I'll show you what it looks like. Hi there! So this is still completely wet. It's going to take a long time to dry. So I'm going to use a blow dryer to um, dry it and to pull off the tissue paper. Um, as you can see, I have like a super old blow dryer that I use just for art. Here I go. So here we go. We have a beautiful, beautiful artwork. Look at that. <laughs> that would, once it's dry, that's going to be a beautiful background for one of my paintings. Or um, you can do, make it, I, I like to cut it out into little cards, like I trace playing cards and then put a little word on it for like a gratitude card or a thank you or anything like that. So there you go. And now I have this second one. I'm going to do the same with this one. And there you go. This one you can see more of the overlap and the and the blur and the bleeding because I dried it more before I took the tissue paper off. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it could be such a beautiful background for a painting. You could do anything on top of this or just leave it the way it is. It's just so pretty. Put a word on it, a scene, anything like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'd love to see your cre creations. Enjoy. Have fun creating. Bye.